Welcome to lesson number 26, learn to debug log files. Logging is the simplest way to determine where a package is cracking. Read the log, preferably at the time of the error, to help discover the reason. We learned in video 19 that msiexec.exe executable provides a parameter for creating logs at any stage of the application, whether it's installation, repair, uninstallation, and this is the slash L along with other related subparameters. Because verbose logs are the most commonly used ones and desired type, the command to generate them is slash L or V. An MSI file installation is, is a set of steps. This can be either standard or bespoke actions. Each operation has a return value connected with it. The following are examples of possible return values. Knowing these returns values, it's easy to notice that if you have any issues with an installation, simply open the log and search for value 3. How can you tell which return value t caused the installation to fail, if there are numerous instances of it in the log file? When you find return value 3 in the file, start reading from the error in the log file to understand what's causing it. For example, you can see that when I try to install this MSI, it crashes, right? Now, if we open the log and look for return value 3, we'll find it at this point. So let's take a look prior to this action and see what happens. And okay, we see our custom action isn't working properly. And because we told the MSI to stop the installation if the custom action crashed, the log shows the value tree and the installation terminates. Everything should be alright if we repair our custom action. Now, each feature and component that the installation package may install is also listed in the verbose log. The log describes the condition of the feature or component previous to the installation, the state requested by the installation, and the state in which the installer left the feature or component. If files are missing from the installation folder during an upgrade procedure, look for the following message in the log, something like disallowing installation of component and the go ID, uh, and the go ID for the component because the identical component with a higher version key file exists. If you discovered it, this is why your file was not copied to the target machine. In the following video, we'll go through the system context, what it is and how it affects your package.